They popped up right as the summer travel season began. Luggage fees, $15, $25. A number of major airlines tacked them on to help offset the rising costs of fuel. And last month, Delta was one of the last big ones to add the fee as a Christmas gift, I guess, to customers. The fees have proved to be just one more annoyance for air travelers already dealing with overcrowded planes and rising airfares. But as Greg Clarkin reports, travelers do have options when it comes to their bags. It's one of the bigger hassles of traveling, lugging the luggage. And now those suitcases you pull around the airport are becoming a revenue stream for cash-strapped airlines. Airlines are slapping on fees for simply transporting your luggage, charging you for something that was part of the ticket price just a few weeks ago. I think that's ridiculous. I think we pay enough for the um, airline ticket today. They should include at least two bags. I mean, when you travel, you can't travel without you know, clothing and, you know, personal items and stuff like that. So I really think they should at least include two bags. Despite the outrage, the fees most likely are here to stay as airlines look for ever more creative ways to raise cash. So the airlines are losing billions of dollars because of fuel costs. And they're trying to make money any way they can. Unfortunately, these fees are only adding hundreds of millions of dollars to their bottom line. And that's really not enough in this environment. So what are flyers to do? Some say they pack more efficiently. Fit as much as we can in one suitcase, it seems like. I mean, that's basically what we did. Right now, we had to, we had to, we bought souvenirs and stuff. We were just stuffing them all in together. But there are alternatives to jamming more into your suitcase. You can ship your luggage ahead via UPS or FedEx or use one of the handful of premium services. Okay, you want to sit between one and two? Okay, that sounds great. How many pieces are we sending for you? Luggage Free will pick up, transport, and deliver your bags to your destination. The company's president, Jeff Boyd, says the fees from airlines haven't boosted business, but they are getting people to think about luggage differently. It's conditioning people to realize that now it's a separate entity. Much like years ago, almost every flight, you were served a meal. And people were, over time, conditioned to realize now that meals are, are rare. Uh, and if you do want a meal, you need to bring it on or, or um, fly first class or uh, you know, a, a much longer international flight. And people are conditioned for that now. And I think we might be seeing the beginning of that uh, with luggage. In addition to luggage free, there are other services such as Luggage Forward, Virtual Bellhop, the Luggage Club, and Luggage Concierge. But they are premium services and can be pricey, charging up to a few hundred dollars depending on how much luggage you're shipping. But despite the price of the service, Boyd's business is growing. Luggage free shipped about 75,000 bags last year. And Boyd said they will easily double that amount this year as more flyers become willing to pay to eliminate the headaches of flying with luggage. Greg Clark in Business Week TV, New York. One of the big issues with luggage is, will it get where you're going? So far, lost or late luggage hasn't been an issue with the luggage services. Keep in mind, though, the luggage is shipped out ahead of you in most cases, giving the services time to make sure it arrives at your destination ahead of you as planned.